Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. This is the third part of how to solve a 7x7 seven seven Rubik's Cube. Here we go for the last two edges. Our goal is to bring edge pieces at their proper side, but not yet necessarily on their proper orientation. Like on this one, this yellow green should be in here. This yellow orange should be in here. Now, if you have one last edge piece on this outer side, you have to do this algorithm. Our goal is to exchange these two edge pieces. So we will be moving this two left sides. Left prime up 180 degrees. Left prime up 180 degrees. Front 180 degrees. Left prime. Front 180 degrees. This right side up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees and this left side 180 degrees now they are already exchanged now if you have two edge pieces that should be exchanged like this one there are two in here there are two in here you have to move this three left sides okay almost the same algorithm left prime up 180 degrees left prime up 180 degrees front 180 degrees left prime and front 180 degrees right up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees and left side 180 degrees now we already exchanged this too now if you have two edge pieces that should be exchanged but it is somewhat in the middle we just have to do the same algorithm, almost the same algorithm, but we will be moving this Ines left side. Left prime up 180 degrees, left prime up 180 degrees, front 180 degrees, left prime, and front 180 degrees, right, up 180 degrees, right prime, up 180 degrees and this in is left 180 degrees see these two are already exchanged at this point edge pieces for both sides are already on the proper side but we still have to reorient the edges because it's not properly oriented actually this one has two edge parities but we'll be dealing with it in a very simple way now if the Ines edge piece is flipped, so we'll do this, we just have to match it up, bring this piece in here, and we'll use any other solved edge piece at the top. That will be fine. There is something that we will do with that earlier. Okay, match that up. Bring it to the top, exchange it with any pair of edges, bring it down and place the centers back. Now we have something to do with this pair of edges. I want to flip this whole pair of edges this orange side should be at the top as well as this yellow sides should be at the top so i'll bring it to the back now bring it all the way to the left side and bring it back to the top now i'll bring it at the back and bring this left side back as well now we can match it up bring it to the top exchange it with this pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back you see two edge parities are gone now in this case what if these three inner edge pieces are all flipped we'll do the same as what we did earlier when the inest edge piece is flipped now match it up bring it to the top exchange it with any pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back now I'll bring this pair of edges at the back, bring it to the left in here, and bring it back to the top, bring it to the back, this left side back as well. Now we can match it up, bring it to the top, exchange it with this pair of edges, bring it down, and place centers back. You see, it's done. Now if you have a situation like this, where in your edge pieces are flipped in this way they are flipped alternately so you have two edge parities as well so we'll do the same okay 
match it up will match it up the way it is being alternated bring it to the top exchange it with any pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back bring it to the back this pair of edges bring it all the way to the left and bring it back to the top bring it to the back bring this left side back now we can match it up bring it to the top exchange it with this pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back you see it's done just a fact if all edges are flipped like this one it is a combination of two edge parities one at the inner edge piece and at the outer now if you have two edge parities like this one the other one is alternate the other one is wherein the two at the outer side are flipped we'll do the same with what we did earlier we'll match it up in here bring it to the top exchange it with any pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back we'll do the usual thing bring it to the back change its orientation okay match it up bring it to the top exchange it with this pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back now at this case you have an edge parity and we'll fix that later it requires a quite long algorithm now if you have a situation like this where in the other side is alternate and the other side there's only one flip edge piece in here we'll do the same we'll match it up in here okay match it up bring it to the top exchange it with any pair of edges bring it down and place the centers back now we will reorient this group of edges bring it to the back bring it to the left bring it back to the top bring it back now bring this left side back of course match it up bring it to the top exchange it with a pair of edges bring it down and place centers back now this one also has an edge parity and we'll fix that later it also requires a long algorithm now at this situation you also have two edge parities at the other side these two edge pieces are flipped and at the other side this one is flipped so doing the same way as what we did earlier won't work because you have edge parities in different places so you have no choice but to do the long algorithm for each side i'll start with this one in here since that it has an edge parity in these places we'll be moving this side here we go right 180 degrees back 180 degrees up 180 degrees left up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees up 180 degrees front 180 degrees right front 180 degrees left prime back 180 degrees and the right side 180 degrees now we'll do almost just the same algorithm with this one but we'll be moving this side right 180 degrees back 180 degrees up 180 degrees left up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees right up 180 degrees front 180 degrees right front 180 degrees left prime back 180 degrees and the right side 180 degrees you see it's done it's just quite long but i believe in you that you find clues in each step after every step now at this situation this is also an edge parity now at this point it is a combination of two edge parities one at the end is edge piece and at the outer like what i said earlier so we have to do the algorithm on this side and on this side it's just the same with what we did earlier i'll go with this side first right 180 degrees back 180 degrees up 180 degrees left up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees right 
up 180 degrees front 180 degrees right and front 180 degrees left prime and the back side and the right side 180 degrees now we'll continue with this one it's just the same algorithm but we'll be moving this side right 180 degrees back 180 degrees up 180 degrees left up 180 degrees right prime up 180 degrees right up 180 degrees front 180 degrees right and front 180 degrees left prime back 180 degrees and the right side 180 degrees now we're done with pairing the edges and the edge parity of course the next processes will just be like in a 3 by 3 have a cross place the corners then place the edges for the middle layer and finally the last layer i assure that there will be no other complications that you will encounter everything left in this cube is just like in the 3 by 3 now we're done if you manage to solve it leave a like in this tutorial Tell your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.